What's up, everybody? Welcome to the JJ Peller Podcast. I'm JJ, author of the book, Attract Your Potential, and founder of Peller University. And in today's message, I'm going to talk with you about how your moods dictate what you manifest and create in your life. And the truth is, most of us know that attitude matters, and, and it's a difference maker, and it can impact our success or lead to our failure and improve our relationships or help us to accelerate our ability to climb the corporate ladder or whatever it is. We, for most of us, like if we talk about it, you'd probably say your attitude matters, your mood matters. But the reality is, how often do we actually really intentionally choose our moods? on a consistent and regular basis. Like you, you might have people that you check on once in a while and, and, and they check your mood and they're like, are you in a good mood or are you not? And like, if you're in a really bad mood, maybe you're like, yeah, man, I'm really in a bad mood. And, and then maybe you shake yourself awake. But how often are you intentional about ensuring that you're in the best mood possible? Because look, this is not just about being positive for the people around you. This is about helping you create the life you want. I've recently been re-listening to a book called How to Get Anything You Want by Elsie Lincoln Benedict. It was published in 1923, so it's quite an old book. In fact, about 100 years old as of the recording of this message right here. And it, it, the very first chapter is Your Predominant Moods Create Your Reality. I forget the exact title of it, but, but basically it's like whatever your moods are, your predominant moods, the moods that you live in on a regular basis, that's what dictates the experience of your life. And it's so true. I mean, how often do you find yourself feeling in a bad mood and then more bad things happen or, or you get more irritated more quickly and just things go downhill from there. And you're like, man, it's just been a bad day. So I'm not surprised that it continues to be a bad day. But then on the other side of the coin, there are days when you're like, things just can't couldn't get any better. And then what do they do? They get better because you're in a good mood. You've got a great attitude. You're living in incredible energy. And so it starts to draw more great things to you and you see more opportunities and more people want to be around you. That's the core premise of my book, Attractive Potential, is that when you live in, as the best version of yourself, which a big part of that is living in the energy, the emotions, the moods or attitudes of your best self, you'll draw and attract more of the right people to you. And when you draw and attract more of the right people to you, you'll open up more of the best opportunities. And so really, I want this message right here, right now for you to be a wake up call to say, are you living in the best mood possible as often as possible? Now, by the way, this isn't about saying, hey, if you fall from grace and you live in a bad attitude, you've got a poor attitude or, 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 or your, your mood isn't great. I'm not saying that you're going to be a failure or that you're a bad person. All I'm trying to inspire you to do is to realize that your mood will determine what you manifest in your life. Now, if this word manifest throws you off, let me remind you, manifest simply means create. It means to show up and make real or exist in actuality in your experience. So manifest, if you want to manifest amazing things in your life, it simply means you want to create an amazing life experience for yourself, for your family, and for the world around you using your gifts and your talents. And so what this means is if you want to manifest an incredible life, an incredible life experience, a more rich life of joy and love and passion and opportunities and growth and contribution and connection, then you must live in greater moods more often. You must live in elevated emotions of joy and love and positivity and encouragement and inspiration. Like you've got to be and live in these energies and these emotions of these great moods and attitudes because the more often you live in these great moods and attitudes, the more you'll tap into the fullness of who you are, of who you were created to be. And the more often you live in these moods, the more often you're going to magnetize people to you who want to be around you. And so I recently watched a video where this young guy, he's probably not quite my age. He's a whippersnapper. I don't know why. So anyways, I, I watched this video. Ah, here we go. I watched a video on YouTube of this guy who goes around and he interviews these people that for some reason, he probably like for some reason thinks they're successful. I don't know if they're driving a nice car or about to be at a, in a private jet or something. So he interviews, like ask them the question, like how successful are you monetarily speaking is the gist of it. And I know obviously that's not the only kind of success, but for example purposes, like he, he goes and he interviews these folks. And then I looked in the comments of one of the videos that I had opened up and someone said something about like, why are all of these people so 
so high energy and enthusiastic and like yelling and loud and blah, blah, blah. And, and, and it's interesting because I find myself realizing that some of the most quote unquote successful people that I pay attention to, that I study are incredibly high energy, passionate, enthusiastic people. And they've done incredible things, at least in the way that I view incredible things in the world, from a business standpoint, from an achievement, from a growth, from a contribution, from the value they add to the world with the work that they do. Like they're doing incredible things and they're really high energy, passionate, fully alive people. And so it was interesting to see this comment and this person was like, why are these people so, so loud and, and high energy? And I don't know if you use the word, but charismatic comes to my mind. And the reason I believe is because as a human, like human nature is that we want to be around more passionate people. Most, most people in my experience, now it's certainly there are select few who want to avoid this at all costs, but I have found that most people want to feel more energy and excitement and enthusiasm and passion in life. And the fastest way to get that in us is to get around people who are already exuding and experiencing those moods, emotions, and attitudes and energies already. So like if you get around someone that's excited and fired up for life, like you won't be able to help but start to feel fired up and excited for life. And so what I find is people that are excited for life, they're full of enthusiasm. They've got a great mood, a positive outlook, an optimistic, hopeful, joyful, full of faith about what's possible for themselves and for the people around them. Like they attract people to them more than other people because people want to be around that kind of energy because they want to feel it for themselves. Most of us don't want to live dull lives. Most of us want to feel alive and vibrant, energized and excited and like life has meaning and we matter and good things are happening and and we want positivity. Well, guess what? If you want to draw more people to you to help you on your journey, whether as teammates or clients or people that hire you or or, or people that you get to reach and serve with your message and your work in any capacity. Like if you want to draw more people to you faster, get in a good mood as often as possible. Now, by the way, again, let me reiterate. I'm not suggesting that you can't feel frustrated or, or irritated or sad or upset at any point in life. Like I believe feeling the fullness of all the emotions of life is part of human nature. It's part of what we're here to do. And at the same time, the question becomes, how long do I dwell in these emotions of frustration, irritation, anger? Because they don't help you. They don't help you to dwell on them. They they help you to move you. These quote unquote negative emotions move you to action or to make a new choice or to realize how you feel about something or to wake you up to how you view the world. But to dwell in them doesn't serve you. It doesn't help anybody else. But what it does is it wakes us up to say, I need to make a change. I need to make a new decision. I need to take action. But beyond that, we got to get right back to positive attitudes, to to moods that lift us and help us to feel inspired. I always tell people like, if you, people want to be around, people want to be inspired and encouraged and empowered and uplifted. And so if you yourself want to feel inspired and empowered and uplifted and positive and joyful and excited, like then you got to share more positivity. Then you got to inspire others. Then you got to empower others. Then you got to encourage others. Then you must uplift others. If you want to feel inspired, inspire others. And this becomes an incredible, positive, virtuous cycle. Because think about it this way. If you want to feel inspired, so you inspire someone else. Now you feel inspired. That person feels inspired. And guess what? That person wants to be around you. That person's like, wow, you really make me feel uplifted and inspired and excited and like anything's possible for me. So they want to be around you more often. Now, what happens when people want to be around you more often, you'll get the opportunities before anyone else for the new job, for the new client, for the new opening, for the new resource, for the, for the connection. You will be the one people think of because they'll want to help you achieve the success that you're here to achieve. And by the way, this is not selfish. This is not just about you. This is about Someone helping you insofar as it helps you to help them to help even more people. This is a positive virtuous cycle where more people benefit, where other people feel all of the positive ripple effects of your success. Like I really believe that if the more successful I can become, the more I help other people around me who are associated with me, either clients, friends, family members, people that interact with me in some capacity, like follow my content, listen to my messages. I am in a better position to help you and other people to be even more successful. The more I become successful, 
the more I tap into the full power and strength that's inside of me to use it to serve you and the other people that I get to reach and serve with my messages, with my coaching, with my speaking, with my content, with my, with my books. By the way, if you haven't yet gotten my book, you can get it for $1 right now, the audiobook version of my book for $1. It's a nearly six-hour audiobook of a 215-page paperback book that you can get for one single dollar, and I'll give you three free trainings, the ebook and the AYP into Action Guide and Workbook for free when you get the audiobook for just $1 right now. So go to the link in the description of this, whether, whether you're listening on podcast or YouTube, go and get the audiobook for just $1. Get all the incredible, amazing free bonuses um, so that you can listen to this and be inspired and uplifted because part of the goal of this book, which fits nicely with this message is I want to inspire and encourage and uplift people to be the, their most successful self because I know that if I can help you, then I'm helping me and I'm helping even more people because if I help you to be more successful then you ipso facto get to help more people to be more successful in life, to thrive, to be their best, to live in more positive, uplifted energies and moods.